In this session we're going to look at using the select case statement and this is sometimes used instead of if then else and this is if then else statements for efficiency and also clarity. So we're also going to look at nesting within the case statement as well. So there's a few things we're going to cover. So what we want to do is actually create a program that age group calculator. So it's an age group calculator for a sports day. So if they're 10 years old, they'll be running in under 11s. So one of the first things we want to do is dim. Um, we want to get their name. Also what we want to get from them, and this is going to be as a string. And you have to remember to make sure you dim your variables in the right classes. So also I want their age. So, and that would be in years. And that's going to be as integer, because it's going to be a whole number. And the last one, I'm going to dim gender as a boolean. Now a boolean will always result in true or false. And we're going to have the true part as girl equal to girl and false as boys. So let's set some parameters. Sometimes with strings you can actually let them equal nothing. And that way the memory is left open, but with nothing in them. So they've been blanked. And we're just going to set S name is equal to Leon. I age is equal to 10. And B gender is equal to false for boy. So what we can now do is work out what age division I should be competing in the sports day. So we're going to now use the select case, and we need to select case I age. And what do we want to do? Well, case they are 10, then we want to debug dot right line bracket. You are in under 11s. And then we can go case, we're 11. We can use the same debug right line. Because you're always going to be in the year level above, so we can actually go 12. Case they're 13, they'll be in under 14s. Now we can also use what's called a case else. So if they're none of the above, what do we do? Well, we can actually case else debug, you do not have a division. So therefore, if they're not 10, 11, 12, so it's under 13, sorry, then you do not have a division. So if they're 13 or if they're 9, they won't fall in this because they'll fall into the else part. So let's have a look at this running to start with. We hit start. We know the age is set to 10, so you're in under 11s. So let's make this a little bit more dynamic by allowing the user to enter in their age. So we're just going to use an input box and we want them to enter current age and we'll put default value in there of 11. So when the program runs now, we should be able to start with 11. You're in under 12s do it again this time I'm going to put in I am 30 you do not have a division okay if I am 8 I do not have a division but if I'm in 10 you're in under 11s now we need to make sure that we personalize information so rather than you we could actually use their name because we have their name up above, and it's in S name. So we could actually say in here, S name and the concatenation are in. So let's test this before we get too carried away and check that 10 results in the right one. So start 10. Leon are in under 11. So we need to grammatically correct that. Leon, you are you are in under 11s. So now the message that comes back is a little more personalized. A 
Leon, you are in under 11s. So it's a little bit more user friendly. So now I can actually just copy that part right up to you and then just replace each of the start of these. Now we also have in here a gender which is false at the moment. So we can actually change that around to be true or false depending on what the output is. So in here we've got debug right line, S name and you are in under 11s. We could actually have an if statement before we enter the case statement go if B for Boolean gender is equal to true then we can set another variable s gender which is string is equal to quote girls else the s gender can equal boys And then we can use S gender in our message to say, Leon, you are in, and then we can put a quote, concatenate the variable, which is S gender, and quote. So now it should say S name. So Leon, you are in cos minus false so it should result boys so Leon you are in boys under 11 so let's just check that we have an error so we just need to go to our error list because we've got two variables in there we can't let them both equal nothing so now when the program runs we hit start, we'll go 10, Leon you are in boys under 11s, so if I make the gender dynamic, but I'll just change this now to true, and run the program, I now should be in girls. Girls under 11s. So we could read the results of these variables from the GUI. They could be checkboxes, etc. And we can use is statements to work out what they're going to be. And then we can use that to create some concatenated outputs to help personalize the information. And also, if the, if the result does not fall within the select case statement, we can always use the case else to give a default response, like enter the information again, and loop back later to actually get the user to input the information once again.